Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for the week of May 25th through the 31st. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this card fell out, it's a star card. So that is a wish being fulfilled or a prayer, you know, an answered prayer of some sort. This is unexpected help arriving the beginning of the week so this is a new purpose this is a fairy godmother granting your wish um, whatever your wish is it's guaranteed success in a situation this is a blessing in disguise after the tower has fallen um, shining very very brightly so this is this is the beginning of the week this the star is a card of uh, wish fulfillment so your prayer is being answered in some way um, which is fantastic unexpected help Ooh, after the tower falls okay because this is 16 17 so this is help arriving after some sort of disastrous situation this is a blessing in disguise so whatever this week is about okay so we have a we have a blessing in disguise here so you may not see it as a blessing in disguise but it is a blessing in disguise so the tower is a major disruption where Somebody blows their top or something happens that is very destructive, but there's a reason for it. There is definitely a reason for it. You are going to be building a new foundation. Um, this is truly a blessing in disguise. Something is happening on Monday or right around Monday. It doesn't have to be. The timing is fluid or it has already happened. Um, you are, Everything happens for a reason. Okay, you're 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 going to be getting something that um, unexpectedly, because it's definitely unexpected. So there's unexpected help arriving. Um, there could be some upheaval still that feels very uncomfortable. Something could happen. There something could come crashing down. There could be a crash, or there could be um, an explosion of some sort, you know, an explosion, you, know, you think of it in many different ways, but this is a false sense of security that is crumbling down. It's crumbling and it's going to crumble fast. Once it hits, it crumbles very, very, very fast, but it happens for a reason and you will, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Because there's, there's help that is going to arrive with this situation. Um, hmm. I think you're going to be rebuilding a new foundation someplace else, honestly. I'm not sure if you're dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But um, Now, the Four of Swords is, a, is the death of an idea or person or situation. Um, exhausted, but able to master your emotions. Now, I'm not sure if you're dealing with this person that is... Um, ending a situation. When I see the Four of Swords, I think of it as, as, as fours are foundations as well. And the Four of Swords is, is something that is uh, very stressful. Okay, it's a stressful situation. Exhausted. Okay, I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is really, really overtired. Tired, 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 tired. Um, but I feel like they're they're coming out of their slumber on Tuesday. Maybe you've been really tired. You've been in some situation that was based on false pretenses. And I don't know if it's a job. It could be. Whatever this is, the, the tower is like a structure or an establishment or something like that that is, is crumbling. Could be a relationship. Could be a job. Whatever it is, it's falling apart. Okay? But it's a blessing in disguise that it is falling apart. On Monday, you're going to you're gonna feel the disruption. Okay, Monday is the disruption. But maybe you're healing from it. Maybe it already happened. Could have already happened because this is a card of healing. Realizing perhaps that it is a blessing. Okay. Um, mastering emotions here. Feeling very emotional. On Tuesday. But in a good way, okay, because that's mastering of emotions. Oh, goodness gracious. Seven of Pentacles reversed is no longer investing in something that is dead. Okay, this is the dead and this is no longer investing. So either you or somebody that you're dealing with is no longer investing in something that is no has no more growth. The season is over. 
it's it's over. There's there's no more growth here. Somebody could be planning a move, you know, planning on relocating. They've been thinking about it for a while now. They've been thinking, 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 thinking. Now they're moving forward. Their intuition is really guiding them, talking to them, really in the in the flow, perhaps. With the, that's what I feel like this is. Is like knowing what you or the other person. Somebody knows what they need to do. Um, so Tuesday is a day of mastering emotions and no longer giving something your energy that has exhausted you. It's been exhausting with that Four of Swords. Taking a break. Taking a break from this situation. Mm -hmm. That's Tuesday. You're going to experience some sort of chaos or upheaval. If you haven't done it already. If it hasn't happened already. This is, this is disruption. It's major disruption. But it's actually a blessing in disguise. That's Monday. Somebody could get thrown out. Okay, there could be some upheaval in the home. Somebody blows their top. Maybe they get caught doing something. Wednesday. Ooh, not putting in effort. Giving up for sure on a, on a heartbreaking situation. Leaving the past hurts behind. It's time. This is releasing pain. No longer putting effort into something that broke your heart, whatever it is. So we got something on Wednesday where there's healing. There's definitely healing here because there's healing here and there's healing throughout this week. This is mastering your emotions. So really doing a good job. Somebody is doing a good job with uh, not giving somebody their, you know, not putting in effort into an individual who has hurt them, doing a very, very, very good job healing over some sort of disruption. Wednesday, you know, it's really on the path to recovery. Here we go. Queen of Cups reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So it's, <laughs> you may be dealing with another water sign, just, just saying. Looks like we have a couple, two water signs here. So Scorpio Cancer, Scorpio Pisces, Scorpio Scorpio. Something like that. But this, it doesn't have to be those signs, but that's what I feel. This is letting go. It's time to relax, opening up. It's probably going to be a very intense, especially on Wednesday, a very t intense day. Maybe it's very emotional because you're releasing. Releasing some sort of pain on Wednesday. Letting something that hurt you go. And that's not easy. So I think that Wednesday you're going to be feeling, you're going to be feeling very emotional because, you know, healing, you have to release the pain. Okay. This is releasing pain. Okay. This is, this is, and you, some of you may feel like, um, it was your fault, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like it was, I don't feel like it was your fault. You may be feeling like, um, Yeah, like it's your fault. But I don't think it's your fault. I don't. I feel like you're dealing with an in, or you were dealing with an individual that was emotionally unavailable and you're letting them go. Anyhow, Thursday. So it starts out with healing over a disaster. Something ended in disaster. This is a major disruption, but this is healing. It is. This is light being shed on a situation on Monday, you know, which it may seem like it's a freaking disaster, but there's a reason because this is a blessing in disguise. Somebody may have been praying for some sort of change. And if you, when you pray for change, I just, I just want this to change or whatever, the universe will answer you in unexpected ways. Expect the unexpected, put it that way. Okay. So here we are, Thursday, let's go on to Friday. Mm. Saturday 
and Sunday. We got three. Ooh, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. But anyway, let's go back to Thursday. Thursday, Three of Cups reversed with the Strength card. Now, this is a lack of emotional growth. You could be dealing with somebody that is gossiping, somebody that is ganging up against you. You could have people ganging up against you. You could be dealing with some friends that are not really your friends. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. This is somebody who enjoys the control, the power that they have over you. There could be some cheating going on. Um, and maybe that's what gets revealed. You got always got to see what's underneath each other because that's mirroring. So they do play a part. Okay. So I feel like there's, there's some sort of deception here. There's some, there could be a third party situation with an individual that is very clever, very cunning. Okay. Whoever you're dealing with may be very beautiful, may seem to be very graceful, um, you may be in love with this person, but there could be a third party situation. There could be. I feel like there is, just to be honest with you. Anyhow, um, this person is, uh, whoever you're dealing with is maybe not really your friend, but they have some, some serious control over you. And I feel like on Thursday, you are probably going to need to master your emotions because something is happening at the beginning of the week that is going to uh, make you be in your emotions, put it that way. You're really going to need to master your emotions and remain grounded, put it that way. Um, Thursday is a day of restraining yourself. It's a day of restraint. It's a day of uh, remaining in control. Okay, you're going to need to remain in control and, and uh, tame yourself from whatever this is. Because I feel like there's, there's uh, you know, this is the party is over. The set, there's nothing to say. It's like this honeymoon is over. There could be a termination of some sort. Um, and you're going to need to remain in control. So Thursday, you're going to need to master your emotions probably like you never have before. Okay, you definitely are dealing with some individuals. And I think there's a third party situation here that... Is coming to light. I think it's really, really, really coming to light. And I think that it's it's going to be hard to deal with. And this third party situation doesn't have to be a, a sexual partner. It could be a bunch of friends that are, don't have your back. It could be family members. It could be people, co-workers, whoever it is. I think that you are going to be put on the spot by somebody. You know, there's a major disruption with some people that you are working with or a person that you are working with that is going to come up to light this week that is going to cause some sort of chaos. Okay, it is going to cause some chaos and, you, and, and it's going to, you're going to need to really restrain yourself from uh, getting angry, from getting upset, from lashing out. There could definitely, and they, so here we are on Friday, this is a fight. Okay, it really is. The King of Wands in reverse cannot control their emotions. This is somebody who gets very, very angry, gets upset, uh, and shows their anger. So, um, can't control their anger. So, on Friday, we could have an, a fight, an all-out war with the Five of Wands reversed. It could be an all-out war, you know, and so just be careful. I think that... There's a third party situation here with an individual who, who really likes to be in control. They know that they have power and control over you and it's going to come to light. This it, this whole third party situation, whatever it is, is, is going to be on the table this week. It's going to be shown. It's, it's going to be um, disruptive. I feel like... There could be an angry outburst if you don't control your emotions. So just keep that in, in mind. On on Friday, uh, I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. We have Leo here a couple times. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could be jealous. There could be some jealousy here. There's definitely somebody that doesn't like to um, not win. Um, they've probably been playing with you. They've, there's probably been a lot of competition and they've been dealing, they've been playing with the competition as well. Um, so I think that's probably what you're going to hear. There's some sort of competition. Perhaps the competition gets upset. The competition gets upset and causes an uproar. There's going to be a friggin' uproar this week, whoever this comp competitor is. The competitor, whoever your competitor is, this competitor may cause an uproar. So anyway, I feel like on Friday there could be um, an outburst of some sort. 
Uh, this per we have somebody here that doesn't like to lose. This person is very egotistical. They are unreasonable, and they like to fight. So uh, be prepared for some sort of argument on Friday. Okay, so I don't know who you're dealing with, but they like to have the control. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but uh, good luck with that. Um, Saturday we have judgment. And the Four of Cups. Now, this is the truth being revealed. It says karma, but this is the judgment card. So some sort of truth is going to be revealed on Friday. This is being held accountable. Somebody is going to be held accountable. Responsibility is going to be assigned. The judgment is also the end of things. Okay? So this is a wake-up call. Uh, somebody is seizing a new opportunity. The truth of the matter is, is somebody has a new opportunity here, and it's about to be revealed by... Saturday. This is Saturday. Okay. Um, yeah, they may not have uh, said something before or they weren't sure what they wanted, but here it comes. Here comes the reveal on on Saturday. The truth comes out on Saturday, whatever this is about. Somebody is taking a new opportunity. That is what the Four of Cups is in reverse, seizing the new opportunity. It's the end of stagnation. Now I'm interested, looking forward now, looking at the truth. The truth has come out. Now I'm moving forward. Somebody is moving forward. They're moving in a new direction. Okay? This is an awakening, and this is a life-changing decision to move forward. You know, somebody was trying to win somebody over that really wasn't interested. And they were dealing with another person, and now it's like the truth is here. It is what it is, you know. Now, on Sunday, the King of Swords, this is about the facts, the, 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 the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The decision has been made. This man is very, very decisive, has done some sort of investigation, knows what he wants, knows what he has to do, even if... It hurts. I know what I got to do. Somebody that's very wise, smart, and logical. This is painful. It's over. It's the end. Somebody has gone as low as they can go. There's no more desire to put in effort into this situation. There's been some sort of betrayal, and now a decision is being made to, you know, not engage. Okay, this is, it's over. It's done. So on Sunday, somebody has made a decision to, uh, say no by the looks of things there's no starting over this is as you this is this is it goodbye this is it goodbye you've gone as low as you can go it's like this is uh, i can't do this anymore you've done too much this is, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back you know there's no more desire there's no more attraction this has gone south there's no fertility there's no growth it's done it's over the ten of swords this has been very very painful on sunday it's over this is it's not about the feelings it's about the facts the fact is this hurts too much it's dead it's over there's no more growth so i think on sunday there is a, a final decision based on the truth that came out earlier in the week that this is the ultimate betrayal and there's no more desire to engage. So I'm not sure what kind of person that you're dealing with. Well, I guess I kind of am. You're, it feels like you're dealing with somebody that is very controlling and egotistical and loved the control that they had over you but wanted to have their cake and eat it too. May it be a narcissist type of energy here. That's what I feel like it is. Um... I feel like it's it's definitely going to be a very emotional week where you're going to need to master your emotions. Whoever you are dealing with may use poor, poor, pitiful me on you. They may they may use emotional blackmail, you know, and maybe that's it. This can go vice versa, okay? There's uh, shit that is about to be revealed that is going to change the circumstances in a relationship that you are in. I think it is going to be a shock. Okay, it's going to be a shock, but it is a blessing in disguise because um, everything happens for a reason, and I feel like this is going to build your character, and I know that it's going to make you stronger. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, that is absolutely the truth. Uh, we have an individual here that is looking at a third-party situation that probably has been hidden 
but it's about to be revealed and I don't know what this third part there's 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 enemies disguised as friends and it could be one enemy disguised as a friend somebody is not telling the truth and the truth is about to come out okay the truth is about to be revealed in a shocking way okay um, it may have something to do with you know something seven years ago somebody may have dealt with somebody seven years ago and there's some sort of situation that never really ended and, and and they've been talking with this person. They've been, um, you know, building up building up some sort of rapport or relationship. What do they call that? Emotional cheating. Emotional cheating. So that could certainly be the case. I feel like there's there's giving up on an individual that hasn't been telling the truth because the truth comes out and it's and it's heart wrenching. It's heart wrenching. It is. So, um, by Sunday, this is making a final decision based on the truth that is revealed beforehand that this is over. There is, there's nothing left here. So I'm sorry that this is not the, the most, you know, what you want to hear. Now, this could be a job. It could be a family situation. It could be with friends. But somebody has been lying. Somebody um, is not on the same page, okay? And they've been hiding something. May have something to do with going to work. Somebody saying that they're going to work and they're not going to work or something like that. That may also uh, be part of this picture. I think the third party, whoever it is, is going to cause the uproar. And uh, there's been an ultimate betrayal here that is about to be revealed. And I do apologize for giving you that message. Good luck.